Hi, I'm Chris Katz, Major League Second Baseman, and today's pro tip is the double play feed. This feed is to start the 4-6-3 double play. And uh, the, key, the key here is um, essentially you're definitely going to want to record one out. I think a lot of times as a, as a second baseman or, or shortstop or wherever you're playing, when you're doing a double play, sometimes you try to, get, you try to rush it too much that you, almost, you don't even uh, record the first out. So when you're in a double play situation, that means that there's a man on first and then the second baseman, you're kind of pinching the middle to give uh, yourself a little bit more of a chance to uh, create that double play. So I think the most basic, the basic uh, thing to do as a second baseman is um, your alignment from the bag. I'm about try probably 10 feet back and about 10 feet over. And um, we'll start with balls right at me. I think there's different types of feeds um, and different schools of thought on it. I'm a believer in a, kind of a backhand feed, kind of like this. It uh, makes a little bit more of a, a, firmer, a firmer throw, so it gives the shortstop a little bit more time to turn the double play. Um, obviously, there, and there's some other uh, ways of doing it with balls hit right at you. Some guys like to do the uh, kind of the, the knee swivel like that, or you got guys that kind of drop back and drop their foot that way. But what I like to do is balls right at me, like I said, is that feed. And the key to that feed is having a uh, kind of a stiff wrist as opposed to kind of a loose wrist because it's uh, a lot more difficult to, to have a, an accurate throw while doing it. So we'll start with feeds coming right at me. <laughs> kind of ro roll it if you can. Key there, you want to hit the shortstop kind of in his chest so it's easy for him to make the turn. Um, you also, when you feel, you obviously want to, you want to field the ball, and then as you field it, kind of funnel it in, and then kind of create momentum going towards second base to, to actual, to, to give you a little bit more uh, momentum on the throw. And as you get more comfortable with that, you can actually, when the balls aren't even right at you, a little bit to my left, you can either, you can also do that play from out here to increase your range and to, to make it even a quicker double play. And then some, uh, I'll go over some of the other ways you can do it. Um, I'll do the knee swivel, so if you want to roll one right at me too. And then there's the other one when you, when you drop back your right foot and kind of go that way. So we'll try that one too. Do one more of those. Like I said, the focus here is to, obviously you want to field the ball and give an accurate throw to the shortstop to give him a chance to turn the double play. But always, always play for one out. That second out is a bonus. That type of mentality leads to a little bit more success turning the double play. So this next one, ball a little bit further to my left. You kind of have a reach. You, kind of, you, want to, you want to catch the ball, kind of set your right foot, square up to second base, and make a firm throw. Once again, it's really important just to focus on getting that out right there. And if the shortstop's able to turn it, we're all happy.
then we have the, the balls a little bit to my right. And this is, this will cause more of a, or not cause, it'll, uh, this is where you want to do the underhand flip. And this is the most simple way to turn the double. These are the routine double plays that, uh, that have to be turned. And the key here is you field it. You still get your momentum going that way. You want to clear your, your glove hand so the shortstop can see the ball a little bit easier so he can turn the, turn the double play. Put one more of those. So I think that pretty much covers all the, the different types of double play feeds. Um, I'd say the, the biggest thing, like I said, is making sure that first out, I think you know, a lot of times, especially when you're younger, even in the big leagues, some guys try to, they get a little bit out of control, try to create too much, but the most important part is recording that out. So, so that is the uh, double play feed from the, from the second baseman creating the 4-6-3, and that is today's pro tip.